Welcome everyone to Arlington, Texas at AT&T Stadium, site of this year's Goodyear Cotton Bowl, part of course of the college football playoff. We've reached the semifinal stage, one last hurdle to clear before that national championship game. And today we're going to find out who's got the toughness and the depth to continue their drive and keep championship dreams alive. As we'll see the number five seed in this playoff, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, taking on the top seeded team in the playoff. The Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined by Kirk Herbstreet. And here we go, a college football playoff semifinal. Which team will keep their national championship hopes alive today? the play fake on first down and he's going to stretch the defense taking a deep shot here oh and it's dropped right off his hands a chance for a big play but a little early nerves on the part of that receiver so after the incompletion it's second down how about this these guys aren't wasting any time they told us in our production meeting that they were going to be aggressive take some shots downfield but i didn't know they'd open the game like this especially in a playoff this much on the line so two incompletions on the opening drive puts him in a tough spot. Third and ten. Drop him back. We're going to throw for the first down. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game. Trying to find some room. It's low. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. Getting set. You're second down. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back. Looking to throw for it on third down. Got him for a sack. A big play made them on the senior. Easy. From the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. Finding some room with the 25. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Pass the 20 the 10 and he takes it all the way to the end zone touchdown Bulldogs Chris you don't see this Ready? Two, nine, he hands it off from the gun tackled behind the line it's a loss of two that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. It has been a tough first half in this playoff game for this offense. They can And the senior making a disruptive impact play. Takes the handoff. It's ETN. They make the tackle, but the game moves the ball to the team. Boy, another nice game by 
and is back. He has had a beautiful day today, running the football, just kind of in that zone, and a big reason why they have a nice lead today. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Here's a shot toward the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Georgia. point the lead is 14 now the kickoff team is out on the field bringing it out it's pain he'll be tackled at the 18 that's good coverage there and the Notre Dame offense back out on the field they're coming off the three and out looking to produce a positive drive here they'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one after the first down loss, it's second and long from the 17. And there's the handoff. Has the first down and more. He's found some room at the 45. Tackle made after a big gain. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. First down and 10. Back to pass. It's Leonard. The pocket breaking down. He's going to take off here. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. Important second down play coming up. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, which he did, and then he slides down to avoid the big hit. The tackle is made. The offense is now set up with a first and goal from the eight. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. First and goal, handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Second and goal play, spot the ball at the nine. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And he'll get there. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. And they'll set up now for the extra point try. PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. Physical defending, that one falls incomplete, brings up second down. The offense with five receivers now, empty backfield. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. Oh, and he flat dropped it. It's going to bring up third down for this offense. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Pressure is coming. Pressure and drop back at the eight-yard line. Chris, that quarterback seemed to be back there forever waiting to find somebody open. He should have just thrown it away or just taken off. Instead, waiting all that time allows the defense to get to him. They come up with a sack. The Bulldogs will bring their punt team onto the field. They're going to kick it away for the second time. And the ball is away from his own end zone. When he's got some space here. And they've got the returner Corral. And the Fighting Irish offense is back on the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here? Or the defense come up with a stop? Running out of time in the pocket. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. Well, that's the one thing about a guy that always feels that he can rely on his legs. He's always trying to make a play, 
and this time he just wasn't able to get away from the defense, and that is a big loss for the offense. And Sack sets up second down. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And he's got his man open downfield. And that broken tackle will earn him first down yardage. Notre Dame comes to the line quickly. That's a big time play by this wide receiver from Notre Dame. You think about Notre Dame teams that have been able to get up into the national scene. They really seem to have a difference maker out on the perimeter. Going way back to Tim Brown who won a Heisman. Can he reach the end zone? Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown, Irish. Well, this college football playoff game is all tied up, and Curtin's beginning to feel a little bit like a shootout. Yeah, it is. It's a battle of the offenses. Both these teams right now executing flawlessly, and they're doing so with such high stakes, answering one score with another. Neither team is backing up one inch. set up for the PAT. And he knocks it right through. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 20. Trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? The junior were able to bring him down quickly. Second down after that run on the previous play. Scanning the field. It's back. Bringing pressure. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. How about Notre Dame sending a backer here? He comes up with the sack. A little Rudy magic on this one. And, well, they've had some great linebacker play over the years. Of course, think about Manti Teo, Jalen Smith, who's now in the NFL and had a great career in South Bend. Notre Dame with great history in playing linebacker. Offense gets set up here. It's third down. It's a fun battle on the road to the national championship deadlocked at the end of one. Let's check out the early stats so far. We've got a good one. Touch out for in a playoff game as we begin the second period. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know, and the protection breaks down yet again. Another sack. Now they put that. Okay. Here we go. They'll run it here. The running back has the ball. He picks up nine, so just short of the first down, second and one. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. But he's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Using his legs here. Trying to use his legs to make the first down. Takes the handoff, heads to the right. Breaking free at the 35. Rips off a big game. Finally tackled at the 46. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well. Pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end. Seeing what additional damage they can do. On first down, it's play action. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. Tackle is made, but it's a big game. Number the ball to the 25-yard line. 
The offense really clicking against this embattled defense. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. Great move in the open field. And they've got him at the five. Great run to set up scoring position here. Well, that's what you love to see from an offense. The running back in sync, working together, and it pays off. What a big gain. Thought he might be close to being able to take it all the way to the end zone, but the defense just brings him down there inside the five. Here comes some more big bodies out for the defense. Chris, I just love to see this offensive line. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown. Now begin with a quick throw to the left. And he will be stuffed for no gain. Second down play coming up. Ball handed off. A change of direction. And the broken tackle there produces a solid gain. The important third down play coming up. Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. Handoff running right. Picks up the first, looking for more. Moving right through the contact. No stopping and takes it all the way. Touchdown, Bulldogs. He hands it to the back. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, if somebody talks about a play being blown up, this is a great example of that. That's exhibit A for how to be physical on defense. They make the stop to get the ball carrier down. Well, that's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Pass rush closing in. They've got him. Defense comes up with a sack. Okay, ready? Ready? Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Fresh set of downs for the offense after that first down completion. A new set of downs after that completion. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Caught over the middle. It's Bell. Tackled at the eight after the completion. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And he will score. Touchdown, Georgia. No surprise there, Kirk. It's a red zone touchdown to the big tight end. Well, it First down, we're going to throw the ball. Defense is coming after him. Timeout is called a tough strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. This offensive line flat out cannot handle the pressure of this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of Chris, get this, seven sacks in this game so far. And the protection breaks down again, back-to-back -back sacks. 
That is outstanding defense to be able to leverage this quarterback. That is a tough thing to do. This guy's as fleet-footed as any quarterback in the country, and to be able to bring him down for a loss like that is a major accomplishment. Tight end goes in motion before the snap. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Now the timeout is called by the defense. They've got... Here comes a first down pass attempt. Looking to make a big play downfield. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands? Sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. George has moved into the red zone. Send the back in motion. Looking downfield, it's back. Oh, and it's nearly picked off. Could not hold on to the ball in the end zone. Sets up second down. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown. Oh. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. They'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. Final seconds in the first half. They will just take a knee and head to the locker room. Looks like the offense content to run the clock out here and go to halftime. Talk about the second half. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. These games, they never disappoint, regardless the score. And this one was filled with excitement and big plays throughout that first half. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. Chris, let's send things back to you and Kirk for what should be a memorable second half as we eagerly anticipate we'll be moving on to the next round of this college football playoff. Fielded in the end zone. It's Young. And they stop him short of the 25 there. Offense begins at the 22. And the Fighting Irish offense comes back out onto the field. He'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's running out of time here. And the tackle is made. The defense saying, not this time. They got burned in the scramble last time. They bring him down pretty quickly here. There's the handoff. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Running back has it on the screen now. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down now. The punt team making their way on the field. The offense gets some positive yards here, but they're going to be short of the first down marker to set up fourth down. Really good job by the defense of tackling and the awareness to keep him short of that first down marker. Tight end makes the grab. Breaks loose at the 45. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Finally brought down at the eight-yard line. A huge play, and suddenly they're in great scoring position. Just I don't know if that's a busting punch or, or just a mistake by this defense, but the tight end is all alone. Nobody around him, an easy throw for the quarterback, and obviously a huge game for the offense.
Offense racing down the field. It sets up a first and goal inside the 10. Looking for a gap. It's ETN. Shows off the stiff arm on the way to a solid game. Solid game puts him in good position for second down and goal. Well, much like what we saw in the first half, Chris, of this playoff game, no adjustments. Go right back to giving this running back the football. He's had a monster day and continues to get positive yards. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And the beatdown continues. It's an easy job for the play caller, right, Kurt? They can't stop the running back. Beating the ball, scores again. Yeah, I came into this game really thinking we'd see more from this quarterback and all these wide receivers that they have. But instead, it has been the back. And as a smart play caller, you just keep going back to the guy with the hot hand. But they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good as they build on this big lead. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. So here comes the Notre Dame offense back onto the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? It's a shotgun run call. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. After the first down loss, it's second and long from the 17. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. He fires this throw and is intercepted. Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. Well, this defense has been great the entire football game here. They knew they had a lot of pressure on them in the playoff. They stepped up and played well all game long, and now they get a critical interception here late in this game. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They take the field with serious momentum. They have been tough to stop so far. Can they keep it going? Play action here on first down. The pocket breaking down. And he cannot escape the defense with a sack. Well, you got to do a better job with your fake as a quarterback. The defense did not bite at all on the play action, allowing them to continue to come after the quarterback and come up with that sack. That sack makes it second down and forever. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. This running back's had a big night, kind of night you dream about, but the defense finally steps up and gets to him behind the line of scrimmage. He's going to take off. So the scramble comes up short, and now this offense facing a fourth down play. Well, the quarterback knew the one thing he can't do here is take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. Now, he didn't pick up the first down, but he gave him a shot. I think he'll get some love from his guys for that effort. Now run it here. It's the running back with the ball. Christina, the spread era over the years has always grown offensively. But I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. Crucial third down play coming up. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Pressure is coming. Nowhere to go here, and the ball is knocked loose. They will get the ball back, but it could still be a drive kill. He catches a break here. Ball is on the ground. It ends up bouncing right back to him to avoid a disaster for the offense.
punt team ready to boot it away. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. And the fair catch signaled for and taken. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt it last time. Now they're looking to respond and add to this lead. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. Grab behind the line. It's ETN. Nowhere to run. They'll corral him for no gain. Here's the second down play. Motion by the back will make the defense adjust. Well, this is exactly what you want to see from the defense. Yeah, you give up the catch, but you're right there to be able to stop this receiver from making any yards after the catch. Fresh set it down to the offense. First down. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. In these playoff games, we certainly hope for a much more competitive battle with a shot at the national championship on the line. It has not been the case here so far. So let's get back to the action. One quarter away, what would be an impressive CFP statement. Using his legs, it's Robinson. Stopped right there at the line, no gain. Second down play coming up for this offense. Motion now from the tight end. Makes a quick grab. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Here comes a handoff. Boy, this guy's been a lot of fun to watch today. Showing a lot of ability to get outside with speed. Some toughness between the tackles. Now he's well over 100 yards. And a big part of the reason this team's going to advance to the next round. Now, he did not make the first down yard. It's a big stop for this defense as they try to cut into this lead. How about the offense being aggressive? They decide to go for it here. And I got to give all the credit to this defense. Being aware, anticipating the call, knowing exactly where they needed to make the stop, and they did. Back to throw. It's Leonard. And he finds his tight end for the catch. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. A new set of downs after that completion. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. Notre Dame getting set with a first and 10 now. Looking to throw it again. Let's it go. And he pulls in the catch. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Notre Dame now operating in the red zone. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Using his legs, it's Price. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Yeah, they run the football here. They come up with a touchdown. Obviously, this game is out of reach. But again, they're fighting to the very end, which is always good to see. Now the try here for the extra point. And the PAT is good. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. They'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. Remember, last time they went for it on fourth down and got stopped, and the opponent went right down the field. 
See if they can recover from that here. They'll stop him behind the line for loss of one. Well, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult. It's intercepted, trying to fire it into a tight window. Not much of a return, but the important thing is the interception sets the offense up at the 45. Wow, a risky call by the offensive coordinator playing with the lead in the playoff in the second half, throwing the football. I don't disagree with it, but now you give this defense a chance to create a turnover, and they capitalize here with the pick. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Off the play fake, looking to throw. He lets it go. Caught over the middle by the tight end. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Love to see an aggressive mindset following sudden change. The quick strike here. The defense barely has a chance to even get set up and get established before they have to deal with a big shot taken over their head. Uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. So now it's third and short from the 21 as this defense tries to make a stand and force a field goal attempt or a fourth down stop. Didn't quite get the playoff in time. It'll be delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. Quarterback unaware of the play clock. That'll cost them five. Third down here. Time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. Quick throw to his receiver. There's a fastball, but it's intercepted. Going the other way. Can they stop him? And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. And that's the two-minute warning as this offense tries to work the clock, getting closer now to an impressive victory. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Second down after that run on the previous play. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? They'll give it to the running back. He's past the marker and still going. To get him at the 42, good enough for a first down. Well, that's a great performance in a pressure moment, but now the job gets even more exciting, even bigger, as they go on to the national championship game and play for that trophy. And this is a new era. I mean, think about the weeks, the amount of games that these guys have been able to play and to be able to accomplish this to get to the national championship. That says everything about the endurance of this football team, both mentally and physically. And they get one more hurdle to see if they can become the national champs. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Chris Fowler. And this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.